Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. A big congratulations to Ashanti and Nelly as Ashanti recently announced that she is expecting a baby with Nelly. These two are expecting a baby with each other. Y'all let me know what y'all think they are going to have a boy or a girl after months of speculation. It finally came out. Now the way that she decided to announce it was super cute. It was during this commercial with her mom. Now before we go ahead and get into the other great news about this couple, let's go ahead and backtrack and get into how Ashanti and Nelly first met for the people who don't know so back in 2003 they met at a grammy award nomination announcement this is what ashanti had to say verbatim about her and nelly meeting she said the first time that i met nelly he asked me for my autograph but i think he was being sarcastic and i remember writing it down on the program that picture has been in so many publications as something else but it all started out as a joke for the record it took him a long time to get my number i know that's right ashanti now after these two first met and kind of got together it did take them a long time to come out to the media and tell everybody that they were dating they were showing up to many award shows and many parties together here's a little picture of them uh -huh, showing up at one of those diddy parties but i digress that was back in 2005 by the way in 2008 they finally came out and announced that they were in a relationship and kind of hinted towards a relationship well we know unfortunately back in 2013 that's when the two decided decided to end their relationship they completely broke up and it was said that Nelly and Ashanti were together for 10 years 2003 all the way until 2013. Now we know that after these two ended their relationship it wasn't really apparent whether Ashanti had moved on whether she had gotten into a relationship with anybody else. If she was I mean she did a really good job at hiding it but as for Nelly we knew for sure that he was in a new relationship with Chantel Jackson and their relationship definitely lasted it for a while well recently we know that Nelly and Ashanti got back together I guess when Nelly ended her relationship with Chantel he met up with Ashanti and those sparks just got to flying once again and these two noticed that they were still in love now Nelly has did multiple interviews letting it be known it was no shade towards his ex and it wasn't like they were sneaking around with each other or he was thinking about Ashanti while he was in his previous relationship they were just both single at the time they were having a good time with each other and decided to get back together recently who would have expected that the two would be having a baby with each other we know that ashanti is 43 and i'm not completely sure how old nelly is but i'm pretty sure because i don't know somebody is going to tell me in the comment section regardless congratulations to the two now not only are these two expecting a baby with each other get this it looks like nelly has finally popped that question so yes these two are in a gauge so this is for all of the naysayers all of the people talking about ashanti what what are you doing he's not gonna marry you he didn't marry none of his baby mamas he didn't marry his previous so he's not going to marry you it looks like nelly and ashanti proved everybody wrong and i'm super super glad that they did this a lot of people are like hold on maybe i just gotta spin the block with my ex maybe i just gotta get back together with my ex maybe i just have to wait for him i don't know but everybody is taking nelly and ashanti's relationship as an example that sometimes you can spin the block sometimes those type of relationships do work out. Anyways, regardless of all of the rumors, all of the criticism, all of the backlash, it seems like Ashanti, she continues to keep a smile on her face. She even recently showed her baby bump during an interview with Essence and she looks absolutely beautiful and I have to say she is glowing if I could say so myself. So congratulations to Nelly and Ashanti for proving everybody wrong. They said, look, y'all don't think we gonna get married. Yes, we are in love. We are soulmates. That's why we came back together. I'm gonna pop that question. Go ahead, Nelly. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let's go ahead and move on to Blueface's mom, which is Carlissa. She let it be known on her Insta story that her husband actually left her. Now, this looks like it came after she got into an argument with his daughter, which was her stepdaughter. And honestly, with well, all the crazy stuff that Carlissa, Blueface's mom, has been getting into on social media, I'm kind of surprised that he didn't leave her earlier. But anyways, let's go ahead. And I know that sounds messed up, right? But with her showing her behind on the internet, going back and forth with her kids and then going back and forth with his child like she literally just was on live talking about how his daughter p-u-s-s-y stank 
like mm. anyways let's go ahead and get into what she had to say on her insta story she said my husband has decided to leave and go back to ohio due to my immature behavior on the internet i apologize to anyone i have disrespected or hurt during my emotional breakdown these last few years i apologize to Krishan and Jaden for taking my hurt out on them when i should have addressed it with my children i did not call my grandson slow with malice intent and if anyone took it that way i apologize at this time i'm going to take a break from social media to take time to myself to prepare to drop my new projects in my only fans okay not her only fans child anyway she also said i'm not arguing with no man with nail polish that i know like behind and at this point she is talking about Blueface's father then she says keep trying to use me for clout after I raised yours while you had a free life I'm going to mess around and embarrass you because I keep receipts for everything use rock she right there in the house with you oh she already know you crooked okay and Jaden you know how hard it was for me and Blue with no help from his daddy so please do not let this weirdo play with me okay so that's what Carlissa had to say it looks like she got into it with Blueface's dad who we know allegedly is living at Blueface's house with Krishan but this is completely crazy she decided to apologize to Krishan Krishan Jr and Jaden Alexis and I kind of feel like that's the only positive thing that she had to say I'm really surprised that she's about to start OnlyFans okay this is honestly why I feel like it was planned for her to post that picture like she was trying to say oh she accidentally posted that picture of her behind she was trying to send it to her husband but I honestly feel like she did that on purpose okay she wanted to get the people People to start talking because you're telling me now you're about to start an only fans like i know she's about to start a show with ray j which is like mm, okay the family shows are all right but you're about to start a only fans like come on the way your kids are looking at you at this point it's probably like crazy okay let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be s red now we talked about this in our last video just the other day was fred's birthday a happy belated birthday to her by the way i forgot to mention that in my previous video but her cousin quote unquote cousin i'm starting to believe that this is not even her cousin child but her cousin decided to speak out wish her a happy birthday but she also decided to low-key kind of expose her which now i'm looking back at him like she was definitely being shady in this post she said Said, happy birthday cousin she tagged as red and she said why you leave us in the hood like that grandma mad at you she said call her now this started to trend it's all over twitter right now and s red she's trending right now it looks like she finally decided to respond to this this is what s red had to say she reposted the post and she said anybody notice box head b okay so it looks like red is kind of insinuating that she doesn't know her or maybe she just doesn't have a good relationship with her cousin and i was telling you guys that this was a debate like should you help out your peoples when you get about the hood or should it be a thing where hey you made the money you worked hard to get out the hood so that's your money and like i said a lot of people are saying look red should be helping her family and some people are saying look you are not obligated to help your family your family shouldn't feel entitled for you to just give them money okay in my honest opinion i don't feel like there's anything wrong with helping your peoples helping your family out if you get a bag the only thing i feel like is maybe red didn't have the best relationship with her cousin and now that she has money her cousin's hand is out is like Hmm, give me some money like you got all this money you're a millionaire you know what i'm saying and then we have to understand that not everything is what it seems and i can only imagine how hard it is for red now for all of her old friends for her peoples looking at her like you got this money now give me some i need some help me get out the hood but everybody should have their own goals like her cousin should just be working hard at whatever she's talented at to make it out of the hood herself you don't want to depend on anybody else your parents your cousins your sister your brother you want to be able to depend on yourself you want to be a reliable asset even if your cousin was to help you even if red was like look i'm gonna give you this 10 bands you want to be reliable you want to make sure you're going to take that money and not spend it on crazy stuff you want to make sure you're going to do something for yourself that could help her in return uh but like i said with her response i just don't feel like she has the best relationship with her family plus red she has kids she's helping out her kids it's not like she's just you know out here just wilding by herself she has two babies that she has to feed and she worked hard to get to where she is she deserves her money okay if she wants to help her family that would be great 
but you really can't be mad at your family if they don't want to help you because they work hard to get the money that they got and Ezra could be trying to make sure that she can maintain that money or get even more money before she helps her family but it's her decision if I was her cousin if I was her grandma I wouldn't be mad I don't even think the grandma's mad I think cousin is mad and she's trying to blame it on the grandma okay it's not the grandma's baby it's the baby's grandma okay <laughs> what Jocelyn say y'all let me know how y'all feel about these topics in my comment section once again thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and i will see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night